Prius Prime, accumulator assembly, and reversing valve system. A very expensive, complicated, over-engineered way of doing a reversing valve. But nevertheless, this is what they've chosen, and it will cost you dearly when they have to be replaced, $2,600. So a reversing valve is like in a heat pump for your house. Prius Prime, house. House condenser, electric high voltage motor, uh, inverter driven, just like a Prius Prime. And here's the guts out of it right here. That, and this is the guts. Here's the electric motor right here. Here's the reversing valve. Look at the size of this thing. It's the size of my finger, okay? This is roughly the size that all what is needed for a Prius Prime, but instead, Prius Prime has that whole big thing. One solenoid to operate it. Denso, multiple, so actually there's two, I think there's two more solenoids or one sensor driving expansion valve, like an electric expansion valve on the system, which this is right here. This is the electric expansion valve right here. Very cheap, easy, inexpensive, simple item. They had to make it really expensive and complicated. But this and this are the same. The difference is $2,600 for this. This is a 9,000 BTU unit, LG, and this list price will run you somewhere around $1,100. I think I've seen them on sale as cheap as $900, but there will usually be about $1,100 to $1,400 for this. This is a higher end model. You could get the cheap, no name, off brand Chinese models with the same 9,000 BTU for like 350 to 550, 600 dollars, somewhere in that name for the very no brand name units. Not as energy efficient as this, but you get roughly the same output. So if you're looking for cheap, there is cheap out there. The evaporator in your Prius Prime, same thing right there. Blower motor, everything located in your Prius Prime is in there for your evaporator coil. And your condenser is right there in front of your car, exact same thing. They serve the same purpose. So this, uh, and to get more to a reversing valve, you can Google it. Reversing valve, right here, very good way. Here's some images. Reversing valves, not complicated. And uh, there's some very good, if you want an explanation a simple explanation on how this operates without its complicatedness of adding so many stupid valves on it. You can go to Engineering Mindset. Engineering Mindset is a good technical, and let me not get no copyrights or anything like that, but a good um, way of getting a lot of information on air conditioning, and I'll let that run get out of the way uh, to simplify it in regular HVAC mode go to engineering mindset that's that's all I got to say here I'll let you see who he looks like focus right there engineering mindset will be and look up reversing valves uh, and there's another one right there reversing valves by AC service tech that's another good place to go. So if you go to one of these two guys, and there, there's a cutaway right there. I don't have to do no explanation. So go to his website, go to his channel, look at his product. Uh, I don't need to say no more because this guy can explain a reversing valve because that's all he does is explain how things work in HVAC. So that's a great guy to go to in engineering mindset will explain to you exactly how this works. Voltage wise, here we have one wire here that was pulled off. This is going down to that solenoid. You could hear it click. Listen. All that is is a simple solenoid going in and out. Nothing complicated. There's no you know, mysterious parts going on inside there, guys. Think of it as a light bulb, that's all. A simple coil, a simple relay contact, that's all it is. 
we got one over here now this one here i believe that one drew, drew more power when i was doing my voltage drop across the battery and i did this one i got a little bit more drop so without using an amp meter that was telling me that that one drew a few more milliamps than the other ones right there that's this guy right here that's the reversing valve for this one that either has the flow go up here or stops it and makes it go out here so it'll open it to this or it'll make it come out of here this other one right here will make it come out of that little tube down there that makes it come all the way over into this block right here that is modulated that's like a stepper valve and it'll control the flow 